Hi, my name is Jalal Abdesalam. I'm a from the intern in Umakura University in Saudi Arabia. And today, I'm going to present this poster, which is about the association between quality of life and glycemic and lipid control in diabetes patients. So, quality of life is important in diabetes patients as it can affect the disease management and also lifestyle changes may improve this quality of life. And we saw a systematic review in 2013 concluded that diabetes patients have low quality of life as compared with non-diabetes patients. And the Canadian study showed that paradoxically low HbA1c levels were associated with low quality of life. But we don't know if there's an association between diabetes control and quality of life here in air population. And also to our knowledge, no study has ever explored that there's an association between lipid control and quality of life in diabetes patients. So the aim of our study is to determine the association between quality of life and lipid control and glycemic control in diabetes patients. My name is Yazan. I'm going to talk you through the method and results section. We conduct our research at two diabetic center in Mecca region. We approach patients on convenient sampling basis. Uh, to relate patient quality of life, we use validated questionnaire translated into Arabic and for the accuracy, the translation was checked by two staff members. The translated version was piloted uh, for feasibility. Many changes were made after the piloting. Uh, we retrieved from the computer system the HP1C and the total cholesterol of the patient. And for diabetes quality of life questionnaire, it consists of 15 questions and scored out of 75. It is negatively balanced, which means higher score show lower quality of life. It consists of two subscales. The first subscale show impact of diabetes on quality of life, and the second subscale show impact of treatment satisfaction on quality of life. And for the result section, 100 patients complete the questionnaire and their HP1C and total cholesterol level were available on the computer system. Uh, more than half of our patients were males and more than 80% were above the age of 40 years. And the mean HP1C was 8.3% uh, and the mean of the total cholesterol was 178 mg per deciliter and the mean of diabetes quality of life was 31. And we have done a correlation test between diabetes quality of life and HP1C and diabetes quality of life and the total cholesterol. And we found a very weak positive correlation between diabetes quality of life and the HP1C and it was non-significant. And also we found a very weak negative correlation between diabetes quality of life and the total cholesterol and it was also non-significant. So in conclusion, diabetes was poorly controlled in the patients whereas lipid control was in the target range with good quality of life. Most importantly, there was no association found between quality of life, glycemic control, and lipid control. We are further analyzing the data to see if there is any association between quality of life and the demographic characteristics of the diabetes patients. And you can scan this QR code for more details about our research. Thank you.